<laughs> okay, so this is the video that mm, you've been afraid to ask for, I think, actually, because you know how much I care about glasses. So how could I possibly damage and destroy glasses intentionally? Well, oh, much more easily than you could ever possibly imagine. I am quite a devious little soul. So let's have some fun and look at the different lens materials and see how abrasion resistant they actually are with my little stabby friend. Now, for starters, before I get off on stabbing and scratching and scraping and jabbing at things that probably shouldn't want to jab and scratch and stab at, uh, yeah. So, if you're new here, like and subscribe. We don't typically do things quite like this, but I need it. So, that's where we're at. Now, in this video, we're going to address something we have talked before about what happens to your lenses after they're scratched, and I will link that up in the cards. I'll throw something in the comments. Have fun with that if you wish. The short version is it's time for new lenses or just deal with it. Yeah. That's the unfun part. This is the fun part where we're going to compare a few of the different lens materials. This guy here. Oh, you can't see my writing on them very well. So this one is a glass lens. I just happen to have a set of stock glass lenses that I have just removed to put in some other fancy lenses in a pretty little frame. Then we have, of course, the standard, eh, not a standard in my shop, but a lot of places use it and live it and swear by it, poly carbonate without any sort of coatings. And that is, <laughs> You'll see what that is. That's what that is. Then we have high index with AR coating. You can see this lens has a good bit of power, but it is scrap as well. And it's about to be crap. Crappy scrap. Scrappy crap. Yeah. Then we have, I have dug into my own lenses for these, another one just because I wanted to be 100% sure what material we were working with. This is 160 high index with an AR coating. As you can see, the lens is almost clear, but there's a little green reflectance on there. Nothing special, nothing crazy. The material I use a lot of just because it tends to be more resistant to a lot of different things. And then we have the lovely unanimously used not worldwide, but US-wide. Uh, you European guys, I know you watch this channel, you don't have to deal with this much. <laughs> Ignore this little wafer. Yeah, but this one, polycarb with anti-reflective coating, and holy crap, that's got some cylinder to it. I can't even see what I'm doing through the camera. There we go. Yeah, polycarb, AR, trash. We'll prove that in a few minutes. And then we've got CR with AR, and I'm gonna buzz through these a little bit quicker just so we can get on to the fun stuff. And apparently we have CR, no AR, because I felt like specifying that this was, yeah, you can see, I've already had fun with this one. You'll see what it takes to actually do that in a second. <laughs> it is not much. Yeah, it's much. Ah, and then we're back to the 1.6 AR. So, which do you want to see first? Oh, my lovely little favorite one, polycarbonate, uncoated, you poor little devil, you. I feel so bad for you. So this is the standard polycarbonate lenses. I know it's filthy, I am sorry, but I don't particularly care because we're just going to abuse the poor guy. And it's that simple. So, you know, very, Light, very easy to scratch, very minimal pressure there. I am just lightly dragging that across. You can see barely even moving the lens and we've got several scratches have now appeared right in that area. You can get a little bit more pressure. I can still hold this in one hand very easily and scratch across that. And in fact, you know, it's very easy to put some little scrapes and dents in there. That's how I feel about that lens. No cares in the world, but does an anti-reflective and scratch resistant coating make it better? And we sell these things all the time. Oh, it's got this scratch resistant coating on it. It's gonna be so much better for you. Is it? 
is it so much better if it's still a polycarbonate and we add the scratch resistant anti-reflective coating do we really get something better and i'm going to stay off a little bit further to the edge in hopes that i can still use this guy at some point in the future yeah probably not anyways so scratching oh oof actually less pressure than the other lens and you see the dust coming off of the thing i don't know if you can see that look at that jesus so the ar coated poly is i'm just having fun with it at this point look at that that's miserable i mean you're not going to be running around with a screwdriver in your hand hopefully often with your glasses but just to kind of demonstrate how easy that is to scratch, and we've already thrown one down, but let's throw this guy down, the polycarbonate lens, right on the concrete, because apparently I'm clearly not going to use it. And, you know, oddly, that test went over pretty well. You can drop it on the concrete, it's going to bounce, and this is pretty smooth concrete as far as concrete goes, but damn, there's not really any indentations in it, but it sure scratches easy. Well... There you go. There is one advantage to polycarbonate. If you drop it face first on the concrete, the poor little guy still <laughs> hangs on for dear life, but don't attack it with anything sharp or abrasive. Now, let's move on to the little mystery high index here. I think this one's a 167, but honestly, I don't remember, so that's why I got one. I knew exactly what it was. So, this guy, the high index with AR coating, yeah, I mean, look, I'm putting pretty good bit of pressure here nothing like the polycarbonate you're already getting much much more abrasion resistant there we go so some serious pressure catching just the very edge of it you can really finally get some scratching in there but it's nothing like you know i'm still going at this with pretty good yeah and we're not really getting anything like what was happening on the polycarbonate high index good poly bad if somebody's jabbing at your eyes with a screwdriver hopefully you're never in that situation but if they wind up in your purse with your keys that's what's happening so high index ar apparently really good one six ar this is another high index material it's not as commonly used in the states it's more of a standard costco is actually using this as a standard now so listen to me tell you that they're a good company to pay attention to more budget stuff but this one six is a standard and then one six is a standard i use in my shop too it's a special formulation of one six but it is still one six because in general it is a good material deal with it so the one six with ar look here we have to get pretty into it before we get any scratches it's definitely nothing like the polycarbonate now, to be fair, this coating is not as good as the other one, but you can see, minus my smudginess, and in this case, it's not a big deal. I'm going to wipe it with my shirt, but you can see, you know, we've got a little bit of scratching there, but, you know, just dancing across the lens lightly, it's not really doing too much of anything. If I catch that edge and really bear down into it, yeah, we get some nice marks on there, and that, yeah. Just jabbing at it still doesn't really do much of anything. Everybody's favorite test onto the concrete. Have your fun and eat it too. And come on, line up with the pretty car. There you go. Right down onto the concrete. Certainly doesn't bounce like a poly. But yeah, here we go. Up here, right down, face first onto the concrete. And yeah, just as good as the poly. We got nothing really as far as scratch and dent goes. Pretty solid. I gotta remember to throw these in the trash and not back in the stock bags like I had planned on because apparently I decided to just chunk them onto the concrete floor because that's where we're at today. And there you go. Next up, the CR39. This is gonna be your standard plastic. This is the base material most places use. You know, nothing extravagant, nothing good, nothing bad. Just a standard plus 150 lens here, so a little bit of magnification. Oh, and look at all the pretty things in my eye. Hee <laughs> hee. And, mm, anyways. So, CR with AR. You know, that's, that's not bad. You can, we can definitely get some scratching on there. 
fairly easily. And we still never get smoke like the polycarbonate, but it does still scratch fairly easily overall. And yeah, there you go. Still nothing too, too wonderful as far as scratch resistant goes. It's not as soft as the polycarbonate. Naturally, the polycarbonate is still a very soft material. But when you do catch that edge, <laughs> the carnage happens, and there you go. There's the result. Nice, scritchy, scratchy. A cat got a hold of it. Even though a cat didn't get a hold of it, I got a hold of it. CR with AR, face first onto the concrete with that very convex surface. And this actually, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised. The CR with AR takes that drop test not as well as the others. I don't know if you can quite tell it on camera, but on this one we definitely picked up right here, that little mark and that little mark are very noticeable little divots, which we were not getting that in the other materials. Even the polycarbonate didn't come up with that one. So now this lens is trash. We're gonna really have some fun with it because, and you know, that's, you can actually tell that with just the jabbing and stabbing of it there. Now the good thing here, I'm doing all this and none of these lenses are breaking. So that gives you some encouragement. The hell's gonna happen with this guy though? Am I gonna lose a finger? <laughs> I hope not. Uncoated CR39, no AR coating. You'll notice this is going to be actually the most scratch resistant we have tested because I have to get down to a pretty good bit, a solid grip and a lot of pressure to actually get some scratches on there. And that was why I tested this one first. I need to make sure it was CR like I thought it was. The most scratch resistant non-glass material without an anti-reflective coating. Of note is that last little part. This guy, it's gonna be hard to tell because I've already abused the poor lens so darn much. It still has a nice bit of bounce to it. And you yeah, know, it does pretty good. It actually holds up pretty good to that test. Glass. Oh, I hope I still have fingers after this. Glass, your little sassy ass. Okay, so right off, tappy, tappy, tappy. That was the one I was worried the most about. So, you know, we're holding up pretty good to that. And this is one a lot of people worry about it is glass lenses and impacts like that because it is normally a more brittle, breaky material. But you can see it holds up to that quite well. As far as scratching, I am still doing the exact same thing I have done in all of these other tests. And you can see, still nothing. Still mirror-coated glass, still no scratching. Now, I had intended to do that in one full take, but I started running out of memory because I'm an idiot and I thought I could do it in under 10 minutes. <laughs> now, the glass with the scratchies, we know it held up just fine. And, you know, I can still hammer. <laughs> the point where I start scrunching up my face worrying if I'm about to break this lens should tell you how much pressure I am really putting on this. And, you know, you are still no sort of scratching there. I know this isn't really the easiest to tell. The other lenses scratch so easily I didn't have to worry about them being clean, but take my word for it, there is no scratching there. It is still beautifully clear and smeary even. And we've got, as far as inspection of it goes, you know, that's still really good. And this specifically is mineral glass. So this is the same stuff you're gonna see. This specifically is from Etnia Barcelona, but it's gonna be the same type of stuff you'll see with Maui Gym, the same stuff from Barnet. Really, really well-made glass. I'll have to get some American optical glass and compare. I uh, haven't messed with theirs much and I don't know their supplier. So we'll have to get one of those lenses for another video to have some fun. But as far as the Etnia glass, Oh dear, this is the one that I fear. Mm. Shit! You heard it. You didn't see it. it. Bounced like a freaking penny on the floor. We did manage, 
however, to finally scratch the mirror coating, the actual lens has no sort of damage. We've scratched down to the black tint, so we made it through the mirror. Did we make it? No, no. <laughs> We did not make it through the mirror. I made black marks on the lens with the concrete, okay? It looked like we managed to scratch it. We did not. That is not just my oily fingers filling it in. I can clean that back up and I assure you. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't shatter dropping it. It doesn't scratch. It is... <laughs> That's... I'm... Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the copper penny of the bunch. The unbreakable little lens. <laughs> I thought we were going to drop it and shatter it. We did not drop it and shatter it, so I'm impressed on that one. This is why hardened glass is fine. I hear this, I see this, everybody worries, is glass going to break when I wear it. It's just so bad. And you see the videos of the Ray-Bans being dropped on the concrete. Somebody steps on them. It's over with. The lens is shattered in a million pieces. I just dropped this from a solid three feet. How many times now? Four? I don't know. You count. I didn't count. There. Still intact. Landed on the edge. Still. We have a solid lens. See how much abuse I just put this poor little guy through. We'll do another video before too much longer and see what it actually takes to break one of these because I'm in a breaky, stabby, jabby mood these days. Apparently, even though I just had like a two and a half minute laughing fit, I don't even apologize for that because you probably were too if you know anything about these lens materials. I'm gonna just sit here and keep bouncing this glass lens around. <laughs> I know that's a thing I can do. That's gonna be a cool parlor trick in the shop from now on. Oh, I don't want to wear glass. It breaks easy. Cool! Can you catch this lens for me? No, fumble bounce across the room. Oh, that was a glass lens. Enjoy that. You still think they'll break. Sold to the buyer with $200. Anyways, oh lord, I gotta stop. That's all for today. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you or if it just proved that I am absolutely insane and really should quit this YouTube thing. Well, if you want to see more like this, let me know. We can definitely do more droppy, stabby, jabby things with lenses, maybe even frames. Ew, that sounds dangerous. That's what I'll do it away from that subject for right now, and I will catch you guys next time. We'll see how this goes. Take care.